Hi everyone, our work is native versus overlay based NDN over Wi-Fi 6 for the Internet of Vehicles. This work was developed by Igor Amaral and Kev Lopes Diaz. Naming data networking or simply NDN is a promising internet architecture for content distribution. Has also embraced the helm of vehicular networks through the so-called vehicular NDN. NDN has been proposed to mitigate the disadvantages of the original internet architecture. Unlike traditional IP network, which are host-centric and heavily dependent on VR location, NDN approach removes the need for end-to-end -end communication with a new approach to distributing and retrieving content on the internet. In this way, vehicular NDN have attracted much attention from research community. Since an increasing number of vehicles will be connected to the wireless network of smart cities. Besides, traditional traffic safety applications, bandwidth hangar infotainment service, will require efficient distribution of content to vehicles. Instead of using the traditional end-to-end IP-based communication, NDN adopts a hop-by-hop -hop approach to distributing and retrieving content on the internet. Thus, NDN does not need network layer addressing but relies on names to request the desired content. This approach has several advantages, especially in mobility contexts. When it comes to vehicles as end users, this architecture has been promoted to overcome the intrinsic dynamic and challenge scenarios of wireless network and, in particular, is well suited to the Internet of Vehicles through different solutions based on vehicular NDN. However, NDN is a clean slate network architecture breaking the comparability with applications devised to provide services over IP networks. We refer to this approach as native NDN, because it performs a full replacement of IP protocol and a direct NDN deployment over the link layer. In order to tackle this issue, the NDN can also be deployed as an overlay network, that is NDN over IP, thus enabling coexistence with the traditional internet architecture and benefiting from existing IP-based applications. We refer to this approach as overlay NDN. In general, NDN networks in testbed experiments commonly use only the overlay NDN deployment, while proposals evaluated through simulated environments commonly use only native NDN. Despite existing works on the synergy between NDN and Internet of Vehicles, they analyze their proposal either considering native or overlay deployment. But there are no insights on the comparative performance of both approaches. This is due to the lack of an out-of-the-box tool to evaluate both deployments. Furthermore, when modeling vehicle traffic, the works do not consider real traces from transportation authority and use low throughput wireless network, which limits the comparison between different approaches. Besides that, contention-based wireless technology such as Wi-Fi 6 may suffer from broadcast storms or degradation of transmission rates due to the switching to basic services. Hence, we conducted a performance evaluation of native and overlay deployments in an IOV contest considering a Wi-Fi 6 hotspot. The vehicular traffic has been modeled based on real traces. 
to the best of our knowledge. This is the first effort to implement the overlay MDN in MDN Sync 2 and perform a comparative evaluation with native deployment. Our simulation results show that the overlay deployment outperforms native in our scenarios. MDN networks have an architecture that works differently than IP network, focusing mainly on content rather than device addressing. The problem with addressing IP network is that they rely on end-to-end -end application communications and depend on the device's location. With the emergence of IOV, IP addresses has become a limitation due to the high mobility of these nodes. On the other hand, the standard NDN architecture has no layer to address resolution. Thus, native NDN only transmits through broadcast communication, which requires several precautions to avoid storms in wireless networks. Since a broadcast transmission uses only the basic services provided by most wireless networks variants. Where throughput is much lower and retransmissions are disabled, providing less reliability. Despite being clean slate, NDN is also a universal overlay. It can run as an overlay network over anything that can forward packets, including IP networks. In this way, overlay in the end when run over the IP can use the existing layer to address resolution mechanism. Even when the NDN is deployed as an overlay network over IP, hop-by-hop -hop communication is employed if there are intermediate NDN nodes between consumer and producer. And thus the change of IP address due to mobility should not have the same negative impact when compared to a purely IP-based network. Thus, overlay in the end has name-based halting with hop-by-hop -hop communication, but without the need for all transmissions to occur through broadcast. However, overlay in the end deployment increases the network management complexity due to the extra layer of tunnel handling that encapsulates in the end packets. Many works have been proposed to minimize the broadcast storm problem in NDN wireless networks, while some works focus on improving vehicular NDN by suppressing redundant transmissions of interest packets based on the location to minimize the broadcast storm problem. Other address the problem by creating strategies where part of communication changes from broadcast to unicast. In this work, we take another approach by not modifying any standard NDN behavior. We evaluate and compare the vanilla NDN in two different deployments, the native and the overlay. We perform our experiments with NDN 2.8, adding the NDN stack to a modified NES3. However, the version used of Network Simulator is still 3.30.1, so we migrated to 3.33 due to the new features of the Wi-Fi 6 module. Our experiments use two end-end -end deployments over Wi-Fi 6 networks in the vehicular contest. Native NDN is the default deployment in NDN Sync 2. On the top is the forwarder that creates and manages phases. In the end nodes, the forwarder intermediates the communication between application and phase. Each phase is composed of link service that translates the packets to lower layers and transport mechanisms that deals with the underlying communication. Net device is an abstraction in the NS3 simulator of the network interface, which can be 
Ethernet, Wi-Fi, point-to-point, among other link technologies. The forward included in NDN SYN2, known as NFD, does not implement any overlay NDN approach into the simulator. Thus, we developed our implementation. In overlay NDN deployment, the main change is that the transport layer of each face creates a unique S tunnel to a remote face through UDP socket over IP. These tunnels are created hop by hop between each NDN node. Therefore, in this deployment, a UDP socket is underlying communication mechanisms for the NDN network. Finally, for this deployment to work properly in NDN SYN2, we need to modify the stack helper and global routing helper to configure the communication via UDP sockets. To model vehicular traffic realistically in Sumo, we collected open data from the Transportation Authority of Recife Brazil. The Transport Authority provides data such as the date, time, and the speed of each car traveling the streets for all Siri traffic sensors. We calculate the average traffic on business days and based on this, we model the scenario with 172 meters of avenue, 3 bus stops and 125 vehicles over 300 seconds, with an average and a maximum speed of 31 km per hour and 60 km per hour. Finally, we performed 31 simulations of this modeling to import the flow generated in each of the instances of the network simulations and calculate the statistical tests. Our simulation scenarios consist of 125 vehicular nodes that along the 172 meters of the avenue will be connected to an NDN router through a Wi-Fi 6 network. The NDN router has been placed halfway. In addition, the NDN router is connected to the remote server with one GBPS point-to-point -point link and 30 milliseconds delay. The content store size of the NDN router is 10,000 packets and for all other nodes it is zero. The payload of data packets is 1024 bytes. Finally, when using the overlay and then deployment, we configured the networks with IPv4 addressing. In our scenarios, the vehicular nodes send interest packets at a constant rate defined uniformly between 50 and 100 packets per second for each vehicle. We created two scenarios for our simulations. In the first scenario, all vehicular nodes use the consumer CBR application, available by default in the NDN SYN2. We defined that each vehicle requests content with a different prefix, so we force all vehicles to request distinct data between them. Because of this, there should be no advantage to broadcast traffic. In the second scenario, we randomly choose 50% of the vehicles to use the consumer CBR application in the same way as in the first scenario, and the rest to use the modifier consumer CBR. Um, new application modifier by us that sends interest packets with the sequence number based on the simulation time. Therefore, vehicles request contents with the same name at the same time. Consequently, many vehicles request the same content and there may be an advantage in broadcast traffic. In these proposed scenarios, we performed 31 simulations for each instance. 
This figure shows U test p values for the metric of data received in vehicles in each instance evaluated. There was no performance difference of overlay deployment in the two evaluated scenarios. It occurred because the transmissions for the overlay and the deployment are face-to-face -face unicast. Thus, it was possible to have full access to wireless network services. It is also important to note that when comparing the native and the end deployment in the two evaluate scenarios, as expected, there was a difference in performance. Since native end-to-end deployment performs only broadcast transmissions, thus this deployment reaches its best performance in the second scenario. This figure shows FX size index for the metric of data received. The native deployment presented the rust index, mainly in the first scenario. According to the result of this test, it is unlikely that the native deployment will perform better than the overlay deployment. When look at native 1 versus native 2 instances, it is clear that if consumers request the same content for this deployment, it will make a significant difference in proven performance. When observing the overlay 1 and overlay 2 instances, the index for the second presented a slight superiority despite the U test showing no statistical difference. The slight difference could be explained because much of the data requested is already in the Indian Houters content store. Thus, other vehicles have already requested data, something that does not occur in the first scenario. This figure shows the total number of interest packets sent and the data received in each reevaluated instance. The number of interest packets sent is the same regardless of the instance. Therefore, only one bar has been placed on the chart with this information. It is possible to observe that there is a superiority of native 2 over native 1, around 70% of more data received, with native 1 reaching only 18.25% of requests satisfied, against 31.1% reached by native 2. Thus, it confirms the importance of vehicles request the same content in the native deployment. However, when comparing native 2 with the two instances of the overlay deployment, the performance difference is significant, receive more than 200% of data received than native 2, reaching values close to 99% of requests fired in overlay deployments. This difference is explained by the fact that the wireless network standards offer a basic service of communication for broadcast transmissions. As a consequence, the performance of this traffic is reduced. In this paper, we implement the overlay NDN over IP in NDN Sync 2.8 simulator and we conduct a comparative evaluation with the native NDN deployment in vehicular network with Wi-Fi 6. So, we evaluate which deployment achieves the best rate of satisfy requests, since the native deployment only performs broadcast transmission. Opposedly, the overlay deployment in our scenarios only performs unicast transmission. Our results show that the native deployment has low rates of satisfy requests in Wi-Fi 6 due to the extensive use of broadcast transmissions, achieve only 42.35% in the best case. On the other hand, the overlay deployment reached values close to 99%. NDN is a clean slate network architecture. It is unlikely to be initially deployed in the native form. 
a transition period will be necessary for this migration to take place smoothly, thus comprehensively understanding the performance of the overlanding deployment is a necessary step for its adoption in vehicular networks. Thank you for watching.